Hi guys, it's Shin here. Welcome back to another YouTube video today. Today I'm going to tie for you guys the black ball. And I've got two here which I've tied. And uh, I've got, I'll just show you one here. The other one I can't really be bothered to show you. I'll do it anyway. Um, so as you can see, uh, they're both slightly different. They're just slightly different from each other. Um, this one here has got a black hackle, um, red pheasant feather, uh, some red bucktail, and some crystal flash. It's also got some tinsel underneath it right there. So that's kind of what we're going to try and tie today. I mean, I say kind of, but absolutely, we're just going to smash it right there, guys. We're going to we're going to completely ace it. So we're going to start off with some red bucktail. But not this red bucktail. No, I'm getting my better red bucktail, which I have here. Um, so, uh, as we saw from the previous uh, blackboard, we wanna you wanna get some some of the darker bits of red because that makes it look more blackboard like. Um, I'm just gonna get some of it here. I'm just snipping it behind you guys. You don't want too much uh, in case. Well, you don't you just, you don't really want to overdo it, but you don't want to have too little in case it just looks a bit because it looks like a fish has already had it um so i would say that's that's about the right amount that we want and what we do is we just lower thread it through up then place it down gently and i'm just going to bring it forwards a little bit so there we go guys we have tied in our sort of whiny colored red bucktail i'm just gonna snip that now right now guys we want to treat this uh like slightly as if it was like a cascade um so uh this is the yellow and now what we're going to do is we're going to put the crystal flash on um which is right here stretch okay so um as usual guys you don't want to put on too much between you don't you don't you don't want too much i put in like that's fine. Usually you put in between a, about one and four. I'm going to put in four because I feel like it. Um, I'm just going to snip that. The good thing about Crystal Flash is that you don't need to chop the whole thing off the bit of... Well, not animal because it's not from an animal, but... Bucktail, you usually have to snip the whole thing off. Because that... It means there's... means there's no little sort of stubbly bits at the end. But with crystal flash, it doesn't matter. It doesn't affect how the fly swims in the water. So now we put on the crystal flash. You can just snip, snip, snip this. Sorry, my hands are shaky for some reason. Um, now, guys, what we want to do is we want to get the black, uh, the black, the black bucktail. That's what we want. Let's just tie this in. Okay. Um, I've also noticed that we've had more people viewing our videos and not resubscribing. Really um. Subscribing would be great. Um, that will encourage me, Oikel, and Tay to all make a lot more videos. Um, obviously, if you don't want to subscribe or you don't like the videos that we make, uh, always feel free to unsubscribe. But I mean, this is this is like the best YouTube channel on the planet. So why 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 not just subscribe? You know, it's totally worth it. Okay, right. Just getting the black box hilt. And remember, it's the same as the red, but you don't want quite as much because black is not the nicest of colours. Okay, there we go. The black bore is the bucktail's in. Um admittedly, my black bucktail's quite poor quality. I can't actually remember where I got it from. Um but that's what I have to work with, guys. Um, if you want, you can feel free to put in a bit more red bucktail, because that would, as long as it's dark red, obviously, that, that would make it a lot better. Right, now if I can find where I put my original black ball, I can look at it again, and suddenly realise that we need to put in the oval tinsel, which has mysteriously disappeared. That's not helping me at all. I had it like five seconds ago. Oh, here it is. Um... Uh, by the way, guys, the black ball might have to be done in two parts. If the video suddenly ends for no good reason, then you'll know that mm, that I have 
run out of storage. Um, in which case, I will obviously come back with the Black Ball Part 2, just like I did with the Cascade. Right, guys, now we just want to get the silk into place, and then we can apply the tinsel. So we just want to lift it up, and we want to have the majority of it uh, facing towards the eye, because that just makes it easier to tie in later on. And now we just wind it in. And remember, we don't, we don't want the, the shorter ends just disappearing with the buck's tail. So make sure, once you've tied it in, to get it out and snip it. Because it looks rather unprofessional if you leave it. Where is it? Here it is. All right, scissors. Mm. There we go. Right, so now that we've done that, guys, we just want to wind it. Wind it this way so it reaches the end. Now we're just going to gently wind this in. There you go, guys. Now we just want to bring it this way. Okay, I reckon that's I reckon that, that, that that's good enough. So now we just want to tie it in and make sure it stays tied in. Okay, now we snip it and now guys we go on to the slightly lesser entertaining part. Where I put in the red pheasant feather. Now I've got red pheasant and golden pheasant here. Um some some people also buy purple pheasant feather. Um, personally, there's no point. Don't actually bother doing that ever at all. Um, orange is the most important, um, and obviously red is quite handy to have as well. Um, uh, this red I got in, I got in the post as a present from Oikel, um, who very kindly gave it to me for some jungle cock. Um, the reason he's after jungle cock so badly is because jungle cock is very hard to come by now. Um, because it's not actually... Uh, it's, I think it's, it's, an, it's an endangered species. Now, don't judge me, f don't judge me because this uh, jungle cock I received before uh, it was classified endangered. And um, I do not intend to purchase any more after this. Okay. I reckon I'll give it another two more minutes and then I'll end the video and do a part two. Unless I hurry up and get my act together. So now what I need is, uh, you need some black hackle. What do you know? I just found some better black bucktail. I suppose I'll use that for next time. Uh, right, we just want to get a normal box standard. It's fine if you don't have any um, black hackle or any decent black hackle. I've got quite a small bit here. Um, just put it on. If it doesn't look good, you can always cover it up with a bit of buck's tail. It's a very handy technique. Right. Um, the hackle is my least favourite part of the fly. It irritates me to the point where I just want to rip my hair out. Speaking of hair, guys, um, uh, hair can actually be used for fly tying. Um, if you are going to do it, use uh, ladies' hair because... Um, uh, it contains special pheromones um, in in the hair, which appeases the fish and makes the fish more likely to bite onto your f fly. Right, I cannot find my hackle flies, so I'm going to end the video here, and I will do a part two as soon as I can. So hope to see you later, guys. Uh, part two should come out later today. Bye for now.